welcome the most gorgeous warrior maker in this planet chief padmasanathi raja आसमा भी सर उठ आएगा आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा मेरे जैसा शाना लाला तुझे ना मिल पाएगा ये शब्दों का ज्वाला मेरी बेड़ियाँ पिघलाएगा जितना तूने बोया है तू उतना ही तो खाएगा ऐसा मेरा ख्वाब है जो डर को भी सताएगा जितना मेरा ख्वाब अब कैसे तू दफनाएगा अब हौसले से जीने दे अब खौफ नहीं है सीने में हर रास्ते को चीरेंगे हम कामयाबी छीनेंगे सब कुछ मिला पसीने से मतलब अब जीने में अपना टाइम आएगा तू नंगा ही तो आया है क्या घंटा लेकर जाएगा अपना टाइम आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा तू नंगा ही तो आया है क्या घंटा लेकर जाएगा अपना टाइम आएगा अपना टाइम आएगा We don't have much time. Unbelievable. Welcome home to Freedom 2.0. Have a seat so I can get started. Yeah, yeah, sit on the floor. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> have a seat. Okay. Good morning. Sawadee kap as we say in Thailand. Namaste. Wanakam. Assalamu alaikum. And greetings to the participants of Freedom. Firstly, first, firstly, shoo, firstly, Please acknowledge the performance just before I came up. Unbelievable. Seriously. Unbelievable. I got... You know, guys, I never get emotional. Alright? But sitting there just now, the greatest compliment I can give you is it was not what I saw, what I heard, but what I felt. All right, and that's amazing. You guys did a fantastic job. Congratulations. We should take the performance and go on world tour, Sharfun, you know? Guys, it's your... It's your... It's your last few hours of freedom before we send you back. Firstly... There's some, 
there's, there's two very important gentlemen or three gentlemen I want to acknowledge. Firstly, all of you know your grand upline, VP Sachin Gupta. You know, you know your other grand upline, V partner Dave Vadwani. You know my brother, all right, the pillar of strength for Dato Sri Vijay in Japadas Bismarck, Mr. J.R. Maya. And I also want to acknowledge my good friend from Sri Lanka, Mr. Darshan Jayamethi, all the way from Sri Lanka. Please give him a big round of applause. But today, I'm here to talk to you, beautiful morons, sitting down, okay? Firstly, firstly, thank you for, love you too, bro. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Firstly, I heard that Dave, Sachin, Sati, Sharfun were all speaking on stage. And I said, why do I need to be here when four amazing people are already be, going to be speaking to you and then I got the call from none other than your amazing upline Sharfun and and the only reason I love you guys but I do not speak at any event except VCon and the only reason I'm standing here because your upline AVP Sharfun picked up the phone and called me uh, to be here. Okay? And, and I can say no to many people, but I cannot say no to her. Alright? And today, today I'm here. I just told Sharfun, let them see me, and then I can slowly go out. All right. Then she said, no, chief, speak for 10 minutes. So my introduction was 8 minutes. So I got 2 minutes. But, hey guys, do you love my t-shirt? So, don't worry. Don't worry. This t shirt is going to be an RSP product next week. So, all of you buy it, and then you choose the day, like Wednesday. And everyone in India wears this. Are you guys with me now? And we all take selfies and put on social media. Okay, firstly, I'm so excited about Freedom 2.0 because this is the dream of Dato Sri Vijay in Japa. Because, because in 1998, when I sat down with these two great men and we spoke about the future, we had nothing. Our first event, there were 180 morons who came. And we paid them to come. That was a big difference. Alright? And I was just speaking to Dato Sri Vijay yesterday. And I was telling him I'm going to speak to 5,000, 6,000 people in Bangkok. And he said, oh, what event? I said, Sharfun's event. And we were both talking how this was our dream. That this... No, this was our dream. Because network marketing is about duplication. The greatest compliment you can give the founders is to actually copy what they started in 1998. Are you guys with me? You know? And today, again, I rarely get emotional. All right? And today when I was watching Sharfun stand on stage, 
and she was speaking and it was like looking at a much better looking version of me you understand standing on stage and to me that is the greatest edification all right because if you truly understand this business this is the only business in the world the only concept in the world where you want your downlines to be better than you are you guys with me there's there is no other there is no other compliment today when i sit at vcon and watch the people go up on stage like arun adli uh, sati dev vadwani dev joel all right uh, the the new v partners that we have invited and i watch them on stage and it's unbelievable to see how much they have grown because i know these morons when they couldn't even introduce somebody on stage you understand now the people you see today sharfun used to shiver before going on stage and i still remember the day i don't know which week on you and kavita were on stage together and you used the word chutia on stage or something like that i said i don't know so i'm sorry <laughs> my apologies i don't understand hindi so i can say whatever i want <laughs> so so and i don't by guys guys let me warn you firstly if the next one hour i upset you i offend you in any way from the bottom of my heart i don't care are you guys with me now? because you know every time they give me the microphone i want them even just now i want sharfun i said are you sure as you that you want me to give me the microphone and i was talking to jr maya and he was asking me chief how do you prepare before going on stage and i'm serious from the bottom of my heart i have never prepared ever in my life for anything are you guys with me or not even exams <laughs> preparation is overrated you understand always copy from the smarter kid are you guys with me or not <laughs> and you will pass your exam and then so i told jr that i don't prepare and i was how many of you watch my wednesday message <laughs> hey you owe me a lot okay So let me tell you how screwed up my life has been since I started this Wednesday message. Do you know the real story? So 7 years ago some moron like you most probably it was Sachin or Sharfun or Dave or somebody told me chief make a few videos after Vicon like a follow up. Then the people who come to Vicon they can still see you ha huh? i said no not a bad idea and i chose wednesday because that day i had a little bit of free time so i said let's do wednesday if i come down wait if i come down will you promise me that your ass will remain attached to the floor and the chair yeah I don't want any I don't want any issues. The ladies control yourself. No no, I'm just kidding. I just don't want you to get hurt and I don't want you to irritate the in service. So so it started as a Wednesday message. not as a wednesday message it started as a post week on message and i announce i'm going to do it for 8 weeks kalas finish on the 8th week 
all your uplines message me and say, Chief, this Wednesday thing you're doing huh, seems to be working. BVs are consistent, people are switched on, less people are bitching and complaining, you understand it all. Alright? Can you continue? I say, okay. I will do it for one more week. Or two more weeks. Now, because of you morons, I have been doing it for 380 weeks. And, and I'll tell you a secret, but don't tell anyone else. Promise. 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 About 20 of my Wednesday messages, I have done only in my underwear. Are you guys with me or not? I have to admit, I have to confess. Now the ladies are getting excited. About 20. And, my, and this Wednesday message, this week, which I recorded in Bangkok, Singapore, Bangkok. No, last week. I recorded in Singapore. I was wearing a green t-shirt. Right? In Singapore, right? Last week. Underwear. So now when you watch it again, use your imagination. And wait. Wait. So, I'll tell you a funny story, okay? So, it was my hotel room. And the cameraman came and set up. And he has never recorded me before. Because my regular cameraman in Malaysia is Mike. And he has done, recorded me for six years. So, he doesn't care. Underwear, no underwear, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he just records. So, this guy in Singapore was a professional. Fixed the lights all in my room, okay? In my hotel room. And I arrive, I said, ah, yeah, set up ready. Okay, I'm coming. Then I went to the bathroom, and I decided that the pants was irritating me. So I removed my pants. And I came out of the bathroom in my underwear, walking like this. And I swear, that cameraman was thinking, what kind of video he wants to make. You understand now? Because, do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand or not? This was a hotel room camera and the main star is coming out. And I tell you, you know all my videos, I do one take. I've never ever had a script or anything to read. I just say what I want. You like it, you like it, you don't like it, I don't care. You understand? And this cameraman in Singapore, he was recording, and I was just talking. Sometimes my phone rings. Yeah? Okay. And this guy is so serious. Shh. Shh. Aircon sound. Oh, wait, sir. Off the aircon. I said, hey, bro, this is not a Hollywood movie. This is the Wednesday message. It's okay. Let the aircon. I'm wearing my bloody underwear. What do you expect? And after recording the Wednesday message, he off the camera, he came up to me very emotional. And he shook my hand. For a long time, he didn't want to let go. And he said, I have done many commercials. I have recorded many people. But I have never seen anyone who start talking, finish talking, video over. Are you guys with me or not? But this Wednesday message this week, I think I recorded in Bangkok with pens. With pens? No, with pens. <laughs> Underwear, you use your imagination. Are you guys with me? No? And when Sharfun told me that I'm the final speaker today, I felt a bit disturbed because I said, You have heard everything. And I don't want to repeat. Because in network marketing, there is no one million messages, you know. There's only certain messages you can say. 
All right? That's why Wednesday message is not easy. Imagine if you record 380 messages. By number 20, you will say the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. Like I said. But today, I want to talk to you, not as Chief Patman, you all are screaming, excited to see me, but as one person to another. And the mistake you always make when you sit there and you watch us, whether you watch Sachin, Dave, you know, Sati or Sharfun, or Narendra comes up, all right, or Sanjeev, or uh, Manish, or Bhavya, they come up and share, and you think we are not you, you know. You think you're watching Shahrukh Khan in a movie, all right? The only difference is, what Shahrukh Khan does in the movie, you will never go through. He became a Bollywood star. Do you understand? But I want you to have a paradigm shift before I speak to you today. I want you to have the biggest paradigm shift that everyone you saw on stage, including me, many years ago, we were there, sitting just like you, up there. Some people up there. You understand? All right? Somebody, Dev Advani, was at some VCon somewhere there, Sharfun, all right, Sachin. These people did not magically become rock stars, superstars, max out kings and queens. They started like you. The same stupidity you have, we had. Are you guys with me? We were all morons with dreams. Every single doubt that you have in your mind, we had. Do you understand? Every rejection that you have gone through, we went through worse rejections. I had one moron, I wrote in my book, I think, he asked me, how secure is the database? I don't know the difference between a computer and an orange. Are you guys with me now? <laughs> so I told him, our database is very secure. We store it in Hong Kong and various other locations. This is before clouds. Now somebody told me, don't worry, but man, all our data is stored on the cloud. So I look at him and I said, but when it rains, will the data fall down? Are you guys with me now? Are you guys with me now? I want my data to be secure. Can you imagine you're walking, it's raining, you see Sachin Gupta's, you know, tracking center, Sharfun's tracking center, all falling, you understand? So there was a prospect I had long time ago, and my presentation is not like yours. Yours are professional. I am highly unprofessional and very proud of it. Are you guys with me? People tell me, Patman, are you a professional networker? No! I'm an unprofessional networker. Are you guys with me or not? And I present, and I say, listen, I can see a question coming. And the guy said, oh, yes, I have a question. Make sure it's not a stupid question. Excuse me? Because you will piss me off, bro. Because the 12 minutes I spent with you, I could have spent with someone else who won't ask me a stupid question and sign up and max out one day. Are you guys with me? Right? So, right? so, before you ask, I know you're going to ask. I can see. Your eyes are already, the question is there. It's going to come out. You want to vomit the question out. But think. Intelligent or stupid question? Stupid question, I get angry. I'm human. <laughs> I got emotions. <laughs> intelligent or stupid? No, this is a very intelligent question. Proceed. What? This, I swear, this guy asked me about the data. Intelligent question or not? Data, where is it stored? It's an intelligent question. Multi-level intelligent question. I said, Hong Kong, US, Japan. I lied through my teeth. You understand or not? I don't know what data is how can I know where it is taught? Are you guys with me? Now? I was 22 years old. They say, where is the data? Data. <laughs> Fuck. You understand? My mind is like, you know, 
You know all the question answers, right? Because your uplines train you. FAQs. Frequently asked questions. Nobody asks about data storage, you know. First idiot. So I'm like, data, what is data? Where is it stored? HQ, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Trustworthy country, last time. US. US. Efficient country, Japan. Oh, so you store in three countries. Six countries. The guy said, really? The other three? I cannot tell you. And then wait. So far, intelligent question. And I was impressed. I lied to him. You understand? And then, he asked the, the mother of all questions. Like, None of you have ever had this question. This, 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 this is in my book. Like. When I die, if I get buried uh, on my gravestone, write it. He said, however, if there is a nuclear war, if there is a freaking nuclear war, how safe is our data? <laughs> Have you got anyone ask you this? So what are you complaining about? Your prospects are asking the easiest question. Is it legal? Correct? Bus, one question only. We had nuclear war, la, guys. You all are butchers. You understand not? Daddy is here. Are you guys with me now? So, so, so I, I, I told the guy, huh, bro, don't sign up. No, no, you answer this, I'll sign up. No! Don't sign up. He said, why? Because we cannot handle people like you. Our organization will collapse. If I allow you to talk to my downlines, they will all quit. So please, I will pay for the chai. I will pay for the roti. Now please don't sign up. However, I can recommend you some other companies to go and join. Are you guys with me? Because I realize. So guys, when you find the stupidest moron prospects who say no, stupid ones, you know, nuclear bomb kind of prospects, send them to our competitor company. Are you guys with me now? Send them. Pay for their fees to sign up also. Are you guys with me now? Send them there slowly. They will destroy their organization from within. Are you guys with me? <coughs> I'll tell you another story. Because you think we all maxed out automatically, you know. Sharufun was born and maxed out. No, I'll tell you another story. When I started networking, I was broke. Broke. You are not broke. Don't look at me and say, I'm also broke. I'll slap you. You are not broke. I was broke. In 1998, when Dato Sri Vijay, my upline and mentor, asked me to, all right, got me into the business. And you all know my story. I became a lawyer. In the com you don't know my story? No. Okay, I'll tell you very fast. Okay? So I grew up in a small town. Right? I only had one focus from the age of 7 to 11. 7 to 11. In school, my only focus was sports. Sports, 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 sports. At 12 until today, my focus has changed. At 12, I realized that girls was a better focus than sports. Are you guys with me? Bro? So at 12 years old, I fell in love for the first time. 12. My first kiss on the cheek, not the lips, was 12 years old. Alright? With a very beautiful girl, my first love, alright, who is now most probably regretting that she's not with me. <coughs> 
No, 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 no. She's very happy. She has two kids. She's married to a millionaire also. All right. And uh, so I, I grew up in a small town and I hated school. All right. I think education is the greatest scam. Are you guys with me or not? Yeah, because think about it. It makes no mathematical sense. You work your ass off. You study. Your parents sacrifice everything to pay for you to be educated. No. Do you realize how stupid that is? Instead of them enjoying life, they are eating roti, wearing the same sari from 1956. You understand? So that the children can go to university. Now you morons go to university, get drunk, Enjoy life to the max. I watch all the movies. I know what happens in Indian universities. Right? The degree is almost automatic. Do you realize this? You know, people come and tell me, I have a degree. So what? If you take a chimpanzee and put the chimpanzee in the university, the chimpanzee will also get a degree. Are you guys with me? You know? So please, Please don't sit down here and say, No, oh, Chief. It was very difficult for me. Some of you are emotional, no? I saw, like, hey, what is talking? My degree. How dare he insult? Wake up and smell the coffee, like, guys. Where has your degree taken you? It has only taken you from the university to the bus stop. Are you guys with me now? That's where your degree has taken you to the bloody bus stop to get into the bus. And in the bus, there are all the people with degrees. So if you count every Ferrari in the world, 98.2%. How I know this? Because I'm smart. 92.8% of all Ferraris in the world are owned by people who don't have degrees. Are you guys with me now? And let's face the fact. The only thing you learn in college or university, how to kiss, how to drink. Some of you found your first and last love. Some of you got your heart broken. Are you guys with me? And you got a degree. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you from the bottom of my heart. You understand now? So you got your degree and I went to school Again, one purpose after 12 years old. Opposite school was girls. Alright? And I studied. I'm not stupid, I studied. Alright? My mother was a school teacher, even worse. And my mother was an abusive mother. Do you realize this? If you are my generation and I'm old, I look young and sexy, but I'm old. You understand? Alright? My generation, our parents beat the shit out of us as a hobby, you know. It was like a pastime. Do you realize that? Today, today, if you have a child and you hit like this, the neighbor will come, police will come, FIR, you understand not? Facebook, mother abuses child in Lokanwala. You guys with me, not? But last time, your mother will beat you. You are screaming for help. You are climbing over the gate. Your mother is pulling you down and beating you some more. And your neighbor, your neighbor watching, huh? Ah, huh? Maro, Maro, Maro. Paragonal. Now, all the young people in the crowd, huh? You all are blessed that it's illegal for your parents to beat the shit out of you today. But my time, my mother can watch TV. Can watch? And still beat me on this side. So, I studied a little bit. The subject I hate most is maths. Maths was created definitely by somebody who doesn't have a girlfriend. 
and he created maths to punish the people who have girlfriends. Are you guys familiar? It is the stupidest the stupidest subject on the planet I hate it so much let me explain you will know this I always say this do you remember pi I just got angry I want to find the tr- I want to find the guy find la. find the guy who created pi he's dead Look for whoever is surviving. Let's go and slap them anyway. Are you guys with me? Right? Pi. 3.148. Yeah. Oh, he didn't go to school, huh? <laughs> He's saying, yeah, 3. Uh, yeah, yeah. 3.148 or some shit like that. We don't use it. There is no reason to use it. You cannot go anywhere and tell you can't go to you know uh, Elko Market and Pani Puri. Eh, but yeah, do pai Pani Puri jalde. <laughs> he will look at you and say, "Pagale, what's wrong with you?" So I realized maths was a scam. But now even in QNet you don't need maths because even if you are don't know anything about maths la, you will understand. 3,000 BV on the left, 3,000 BV on the right, you get paid. Are you guys with me or not? That's all maths you need to know. So I, I studied maths and I failed. Geography is another scam. I don't care where Bolivia is. Do you care where Bolivia is? Until I have a sign up in Bolivia, I don't care. Are you guys with me or not? All right? And um, so I feel geography badly. All right, biology I like. It's very important today. The only subject that you're applying in life. Is biology. All other subjects you don't apply in life. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't be angry. You are an engineer. I respect you. You are a lawyer. I respect you. You are a doctor. I respect you. But let me tell you, you will never be rich. You will never be financially free. You know the stories you hear about doctors who are rich? These are doctors who are doctors in 1960, when there was only one doctor in the whole of Mumbai. You understand? But today, you throw a stone, you hit a doctor. You want to go operation, it's like shopping. How much? 20,000. How much? 15,000. How much? 10,000. How much? 5,000. How much? Free. Okay, jaldi. You understand? No? It's comparative. You can negotiate with a bloody doctor. That day my friend said, I have to go for surgery. But when I said, oh, good luck. When is it? Wait, I'm shopping around. Lawyers, go to the bus stop. Full. Engineers, what are you building? Please. A lot of people say, excuse me, I'm an engineer. I said, what are you building? But think about it. The world is changing. I didn't realize it in 1998. I was a lawyer. I studied. I became a lawyer. Don't ask me how. I think they were giving the degrees for free after class. I said, please, one, thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> Fill up your own name. Are you guys with me? Or and I got a degree, and then I wanted to get a job. And again, I don't want to insult jobs. Do you understand? Don't get me wrong. I don't want to insult jobs. I really want to insult jobs. Are you guys with me? Or not? All right? This is not a basic insult. So I, I got a job. I spent five years to get a degree. My mother could not afford for me to get a degree. I worked as a waiter, as a security guard, as a driver. You understand? 
You know what a security guard is? You know, I worked. I did everything to make money to pay for my fees. And I got that degree. And I thought the first job I have, they will pay me a million dollars. You understand? And I'll be rich. No. They paid me peanuts. It was unfair that I spent five years of my life studying something to get a job that would never pay me. I have to work for 20 years just to cover the cost of what was spent by me or your parents. Think about it. It's illogical. It is wrong. So I could not hold a job. My first job I had, I fired my boss. Because I have a medical problem that people don't understand. It's very sensitive. I cannot get up in the morning. <laughs> See, you are laughing. No sensitivity. I, it's a medical... I'll get you a letter. Hey, I'll get you a letter from a doctor. I cannot get up in the morning. So every day I go to work late. And my first boss said, Excuse me, this is not your father's company. I looked at her and said, are you sure? <laughs> Those of you who are smart will understand this joke on the flight, on the way back. Are you guys with me or not? And I couldn't work, guys. Cannot. Sit down there like an idiot. All right. Yes, sir. No, sir. And then they tell you what time to eat. What nonsense is this? You can eat at 12 o'clock. What if I'm hungry at 11 o'clock? <laughs> what am I going to eat? So I said, no. I went back, told my mother, screw it. I'm resigning. I don't want a job. And then many of you don't know that Dato Sri Vijay, my mom and dad were his school teachers when he was a small boy. So the reason why Dato Sri can speak very well and the company is successful is because of my mother and father. Are you guys with me now? They taught him maths and English. So my parents, before I was born, my parents and Dato's parents were very close. And they educated Dato in school in some small village somewhere. And Dato came back to Malaysia in 1998 and wanted to see my mother out of respect, teacher. All right? And came to my house, looked at Amma, and said, Ah, auntie, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. I am now starting a new business. How are your sons? Kuna, good. Kuna is this goody two shoes, you know. He's not here. Ah. <laughs> Boring, good boy, prefect, librarian. Every day, I just wanted to punch him in his face. You understand or not? <laughs> All right? Sati, you met him yesterday. He's a lost sheep. That means all the sheep here, he went the other side. We don't know where he went, but lucky I signed him up, so he came back. Are you guys with me or not? And then, I was jobless and I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I don't believe in compliance. You understand? I don't comply with anything in life. And Dato said, Auntie, I'll give him a job. I'm like, hmm. Like he wants me, you know. I didn't understand. He was practicing rhythm. Raise yourself to help mankind. So, I got a job. And he said, Patman, you're my lawyer. I said, okay. I just qualified for four months. I don't even know how to spell lawyer. You understand or not? So, I started working in his company. And he said, Patman, your job is to give confidence to the prospects. Just tell them the business is legal. <laughs> I'm very good. So every day there was a presentation. There's like 20 morons like you're sitting down. Some guy will do the presentation. Very passionate. I stand on the side. Very excited. <laughs> and then presentation over, I come in front. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Patman Senati Raja. And I assure you, this business is legal. You understand? So I had a short script. Then I walk. 
and stand there and smile. And every month I got paid. So I went back and my mother said, how was your day? Very busy, ma. I handled a lot of legal situations. I spoke to 20 clients. And then one day, the guy presenting didn't come. Traffic lah. Number one Indian excuse in the world. Traffic. And I'm there. Okay, cancel. He said, don't cancel it. You do it. Now, today, I can speak to one million people. Give me a microphone. No problem. But 21 years ago, I was shit scared, guys. My leg was like this. I was saying, I was praying to all 3,000 Hindu gods. You understand or not? All right? And and I was so scared. And the guy said, Padman, you got to do it. I don't want to lose these prospects. I said, okay, I'll do it. So I went up. I said, guys, the normal guy who's supposed to present is not here. You're stuck with me. So let me start. When you buy a product from this company, you will get a tracking center. What is a tracking center? I don't know. (laughs) Then you have a line in the middle of the tracking center coming down. Why is there a line in the middle of the tracking center? I don't know. (laughs) Then you got left, you got right. Now the business is very simple. All of you are here today because you're unhappy with your lives. And you're looking for something. You know this, I know this. Bus. Now, after you bought your product and get your tracking center, you just find more people who are unhappy with their lives and bring them here and they will buy products and after a while, you will become a US dollar millionaire. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Wait. Then I walked to the side. Then I came in front. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Patman Sanatraja. I am a lawyer and this business is legal. And then I walked out. Wait. Wait. And then, and then, the next day I was scared to go to the office because the guy will be pissed off, you know. He lost 20 prospects. And he came and said, bro, thanks, man. Everyone, almost everyone, 90% signed up. All right? And joined the business. Okay? I said, are you serious? They listened to me and they said, yes, yes. And the next day, they wanted me to do the presentation. And I went up. Hey guys, now, second time, I'm like, hello! (laughs) And then, by the week was over, our room had 20 chairs. That's all we had. But it was packed. People waiting outside. Like I was this weird panda from the zoo. You understand or not? (laughs) Ching ching or chung chung or something. They're all coming to see who is this weird guy who does this magical presentation and everyone signed up. And my secret was keep it simple. They're not morons. Every prospect has only one question. How do I succeed? What are my chances of succeeding? Can I do this? You understand or not? That's all they want to know. They're not interested in legal, illegal, all this stuff. That's just their excuse. You understand or not? All right? They have done research on us and they have decided that we are the right company, but they are afraid whether they're going to succeed or not. That's your fear. You are sitting down right now with the same fear. So I started doing presentation. All right? And then I, my friend was earning money. And the guy was showing me. All right, bro, thanks a lot. I made money. I said, what the hell? How can he make money? So I went to Dato Sri. Dato Sri was in Hong Kong. I called him. I said, listen, all right? This is unfair. I'm doing all the work. That guy is making all the money. You understand? He said, cannot. You are employed. You are a lawyer. Be a lawyer. You want to be a networker? Resign as a lawyer. Become a networker. There was a problem. What was the problem? Her name is Amma. My mother, the abusive gangster, (laughs) has told the whole world, she has told the whole world that her useless son, Patman, has a job 
with a multinational company. Do you understand how proud she is? She's calling her sister. Hey, what is your son doing? My son is working for a Hong Kong company. She bragged about me having a job. You know, these ladies, uh, Indian ladies, it's like all competition. You understand? Your son is smarter. My son is better looking. You understand or not? And she can't brag about Sati and Kuna. Because there's nothing to brag about. Are you guys with me? Not? So, she, it's so nice to talk when my two brothers are not here. Sharfun. So, I, she was bragging. I told Dato, I want to be an IR. What is an IR? I don't know. I never knew IR was independent representative. Do you know? Did you know? See, you're smarter than me. You're going to max out faster than me. Are you guys with me now? I just thought IR, I thought IR is like, a, like DR, doctor. Do you understand? Does doctor mean anything? No, it's a short form for doctor, right? It's not like digestive residence or something. I don't know what it's called. And then, and then I, I went home. Now, you don't know my mother. Beautiful woman. God bless her soul. All right? Amma is a sweetheart. But when she gets angry, you actually get scared, you know. Not like normal scared, like really scared. So I went home. My mother is in the kitchen cutting some vegetables. True story. I said, Ma! And you know me, I'm loud, I'm crazy. I said, Ma, unbelievable. I made the decision. We are going to be rich. We are going to be millionaires. You're going to fly around the world. I'm going to buy this, 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 this. It's just a dreamer, okay? My mother said, why? What did you do? I resigned. <laughs> and I swear, you don't know my mother, no. She was holding the knife. She looked at me like that. And in her mind, I know what was going on. Kuna, Sati, Patman, three. One die, two more. That was... I, so I, I was ready. I was ready to kung fu my own mother to protect my life. And then I said, I resigned, ma. And she said, are you sure? I said, 100%. Then she said, okay, what do you want? I need to borrow some money. Because <laughs> when I signed up in 1998, my bank account had 20 US dollars. My life savings was 20 US dollars. Now you know why I'm broke and you are rich? Because some of you here got 21 US dollars. Are you guys with me or not? I only had 20. My life savings, that's all. No other money. I borrowed money from my mother, borrowed money from both my brothers. I bought 3,000 BV. Last time the maximum was 3,000. Now you're lucky. There's 5,000, 7,000, whatever thousand. You understand? And I started networking. And I had an upline who was there and not there because he was busy building the company. That was free. He couldn't hold my hand. You morons, today after freedom, Please send a thank you message to your upline. Are you guys with me or not? Send a thank you message, all right, to your upline who's holding your hand. Because Dato Sri was a great upline, but he wasn't holding my hand. He was kicking my ass, you understand? And making me work. And in 48 hours, I signed up 22 direct referrals. You understand? I signed up. Now, why are you clapping? You are clapping because you think this is a great achievement. But in 1998, I didn't know whether it was a great achievement. I wasn't sure. You guys today are pampered. You have too much information. 22 directs in 48 hours is nothing. I could have gotten 50 or 100, honestly, because of my hot zone. Are you guys with me? All right? That your first direct referral experience should be 20, should be 40, should be normal. But I didn't know. Nobody told me. I didn't celebrate. Now, if you got 22 direct referrals in your first 48 hours, Sharfun will put you on stage and throw flowers on you. I didn't know. I said 22 direct. So what? 
Let's get more. Let's get more. I want to sign up the whole world. I found the cure for financial cancer. Do you understand? And I wanted the whole world to join. My belief was unbelievable. All right? And my first check was at uh, that time 800 US dollars. Different system. It was 5,000, 5,400, you know? 800. I have never seen 800 US dollars in my life. Can you imagine? Your bank is 120. My underwear belonged to Kuna. Passed to Sati. Passed to me. I'm serious. In your dream list, got Ferrari, big house, fly first class. In my dream list, there's underwear. I'm serious. Some of my underwear has cost 200 US each. I can't show you, but I'm serious. <laughs> right? The most expensive underwear in the world is a brand called Hermes. Right? And it, and the, brand, the name of the underwear is called the Pink Elephant. <laughs> I have one. 400 US dollars. I only could buy it now. I couldn't buy it earlier. Because if I tell my mother... I bought underwear for 400 US dollars. She'll make me eat it. You understand, man? He said, cut it. Put in the dal. Put some chutney. Eat it. Next piece. Eat it. You don't know my mother. And I'm serious. I went crazy with the money I made. And you must understand this. That your success is not only for other people. It's mainly for your belief that, you know, Sachin and Asharfun and all that don't tell you this. But their success increased their belief much more than it increased yours. Because we all had doubt. In my life, I never thought I would make 800 US a week. Now I can make 800 US an hour. Are you guys with me or not? Alright? But you see, you won't believe it. Right? You look at us like we are aliens. Okay, chief is lucky. He started in 1998. No. There are people who started last year who are maxing out this year. Correct, Sachin? Right? There are people who started, okay, in countries that had more challenges than you and are building it bigger. So when I started making money, my belief went crazy. Sati and Kuna signed up, but they never believed that it was possible. And every time we had a check, I put it on the table. I couldn't believe it was real. See, until today, right? I don't want to sound arrogant. I am rich. You understand? But I'm not arrogant rich. I still cannot believe sometimes. Even after 21 years of being rich, it's a long time, right? Sometimes when I sit in first class, I still pinch my butt. You understand? To feel whether it's real. You know what I mean? And I get joy today not buying things for myself, buying things for others. Like I went and saw JR's kid, JR's son, who's my godson, Louis Ishuran. And I went to his house. And I told JR, I'm going to buy something for your kids. I went to Toys R Us and I bought everything. Everything, guys. I came to JR's house with bags. Can you imagine? This uncle will be remembered forever. You understand or not? All right? Because you remember... You don't remember the uncle who said, study hard, <laughs> do maths. That place, uh, you know, uh, you don't remember him. You see him today, you're going to kick him in his balls. Are you guys with me or not? <laughs> you will remember the uncle who came and said, Bacha, Aja, buy everything. Are you guys with me or not? And I realized that financial freedom, when I earn 800 US dollars, let's not talk about 8,000. My first check was 800. I, at that time, felt it was possible that this works. Do you understand? And it didn't take much for it to work. It just took me, firstly, to make a decision. See, many of you sitting here today, you have not made that decision. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate your passion. All right? I appreciate you coming here
I, 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 I don't know what you're clapping for. All right? I, I know. I took out my jacket. You're clapping. If I take out my T-shirt, I don't know what you'll do. But you see, you think you have made that decision. But honestly, you have not. And if there's one thing I want to achieve today before I send you back, all right, is this topic. And I want you to empty your cup. Sharfun helped you find a dream on day one or day two, I assume. All right? Everyone came up and told you how to survive the challenges that may come. Sati, uh, Dave, Sachin shared their wisdom, their experience, their journey. But all of that, guys, boils down to this one thing. See, this business is not about the business. This is not about the products. This is not about the complan. This is not about India or, you know, uh, Dubai or Pakistan or Nepal or Sri Lanka or Finland or wherever you came from. It's not about the country you are building. Because while you may be struggling in your country, in the same city, there's somebody who's success, uh, successful. Are you guys with me? So your environment does not dictate your success. Everyone assumes networking is about the environment, is about the product, is about the pricing. You understand? It's about which market. Are you building Hyderabad or are you building Delhi? No, it has nothing to do with that. Network marketing is the only business concept in the world where your success is you, nothing else. It's a waste of time to focus on anything else except yourself. The environment, all right? The product you're focused on, the e-store, the challenges, Google, Facebook, uh, media, is a complete waste of time. Do you know why? You have zero control over that. You can never stop that on your own. You as one individual. Do you understand? You cannot stop people from saying what they are going to say. That's why I'm wearing this t-shirt. No matter what they say, we cannot control. We are here to stay. We can control. Are you guys with me or not? Alright? So my duty, my duty is to focus on you. You are searching for all the answers at the wrong place. I know you morons go on YouTube, how to be successful in network marketing. Uh, see, all the guilty ones, you know. Don't tell upline. Let's watch quietly. I know you have read every book in the library. Alright? No need. Wake up and smell the coffee. You are the problem that needs to be solved. That's it. Recognize that fact that the only thing that can stop you from maxing out, the only thing that can stop you from coming up on the stage, inshallah, one day and sharing your story is you. You, 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 you. Nothing else. You can stay with me. You can eat the same food as me. Do the same presentation like me. Still doesn't mean you will be as successful as me. Do you understand? That the modality, the system, all this is important. But if you focus on everything, but don't focus on yourself, you can never grow. And that's the first lesson I learned from Dato Sri Vijay. He never taught me networking. You are so lucky. You got uplines who make videos, give you books, give you presentation, give you hard drive, thumb drive, thumbnail, their thumb also they give you. All right? Dato Sri gave me jack shit. I asked him for a catalog. He said, for what? I said, I want to show people. No need to show people. If you have to show a catalog to convince the guy to sign up, you are a failure as a networker. You must sign him up with a pen and a napkin and nothing else. Do you understand? I said, yes, that was it. So I don't carry catalogs. Last time they told me, uh, we were selling gold coins long time ago. Somebody said, how does the product look? I looked at him, I put my hand in the pocket, and I did this. He looked inside. 
I say it's a coin, bhaiya. But it's gold. Can we focus on you? I, my presentation was a paper and a pen. Until today, I sit in the aeroplane. Aeroplane is the best place to meet prospects. They cannot escape. Where are they going to go? Once take off, I look at the person next to me. Many of them, many of them confuse me as a sexual pervert. I'm not. I just say, please, I'll show you that. And the best is you sit down aisle, they sit down window. Right? Now I don't have that luxury. Because I'm in first class, you are alone. Right? And many of your uplines fly first class. So I can't prospect the stewardess also. Before I start, they said, QNET. I already signed up, chief. I said, oh, really? Okay, take selfie. But think about it. If you need a brochure to convince somebody, what is your value? So Dato Sri said, they sign up because of Patman. They don't sign up because of QNET. They don't sign up because of Manchester City. All of this is additional credibility. You understand? But they sign up because of you. Remember that. Because you are now prospecting in India and people are saying, you know, I read in the newspaper, I read in Google, I heard this problem, that problem, correct? Who convinces them? You. And you don't convince them with information. You think you convince them with information, you don't. You convince them with your belief. And the reason why you guys are rocking India today, even after all the negativity, has nothing to do with information. It has to do that you have uplines like Sachid, like Sharfun, like Sanjeev, like Narendra, like Manish, like Bhavya, all right? Like Joy Deep, you understand or not? All right? You have people with absolute belief. They are not smarter than me. Sachin doesn't have any information. You ask him, he doesn't need information to succeed. He needs belief. Because when you believe, everything is possible, guys. Have you forgotten you fell in love? When you fell in love, could anyone stop you? Do you remember or not? I remember I fell in love. Nobody could stop me. Even my mother slapped me. I said, I will never stop loving her. <laughs> like Mahatma Gandhi. My mother slapped my left cheek. I gave my right cheek. Are you guys with me now? Do you remember? I used to wait in the rain, in the bus stop alone, just to see the girl for five minutes in the bus window. So when you want something bad enough, nothing can stop you. So if your parents cannot stop you, if you are willing to disown your parents for love, what are you willing to do for your dreams? This is the question you must ask yourself. So Sharfun came up. She played Latika. You found your dream, yes or no? Who found your dream? You found it here, yes or no? Yes. Now comes the question I want to ask you. What are you willing to do for that dream? No, think carefully. See, I am willing to die. You know, one, the only sad thing I ever told my mother was when I started building this business, I was working too hard. I worked like 20 hours a day. I never slept. All right? I would be traveling. I used to travel nine months a year. I did a tour for 38 cities in less than 45 days. You understand? I used to go on stage, run down, go to airport, go on stage, run down, go airport. We spoke to like 100,000 people on that tour. I came to India, I remember, we went city to city to city. All right? And my mother was afraid for my health. All right? And my doctor said, you're going to die. I can bring you 10 doctors who told me I would die by the age of 40. I'm 44 right now. Are you guys with me or not? All right? 10 doctors. Every doctor I went, he said, Patman, you've got to slow down. 
I chose not to. I can tell you now proudly that I am willing to die for my dream. And my dream, when I started this journey, was my mom. I wanted to give back to her. The Mercedes, the Ferrari, the BMW, the first class, all this is benefits that come with your dream. You understand? Your dream cannot be the car only. Your dream must be something you're willing to die for. So don't sit down here and bullshit me that you are willing to do anything for your dream. Are you willing to die for your dream? Because that's the ultimate sacrifice, you know. So I'm willing to die. If a doctor tells me, please don't go on stage, Patman, today your blood pressure is high, you may die. Screw him. I will still be on this stage. You understand? And I always joke. I always joke. And my mom used to get angry. I said, Ma, my dream is to one day die on stage. You understand? All right? Because this is my dream. My dream is to change lives. I made a promise and commitment to Dato Sri Vijay in Japa that we will touch one billion hearts around the world. Are you guys with me? You know? All right? And I will not rest. I will not slow down until we do. But you see, you found your dream. Congratulations. I can see it in your face. Now comes the more painful question. The more truthful question. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? How much pain can you take? All right? And when do you give up on that dream? How much pain can you take? How much shit can you swim through to reach that dream? This is a decision we make today before we send you back. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? So the first thing you have to do today here with me as your upline, present and speaking to you, is you make that decision. See, many of you think that signing up is a decision. It is not. Any idiot can go online, qnet.net, and buy a product. Doesn't mean anything, guys. That was the easiest decision you made. Whether you paid 2,000 US or 5,000 US is only money. All right? Many of your downlines have quit. They don't care about the money. <laughs> you understand? When joining, eh? They said, oh my God, I can't afford, so expensive, I have to get money for my parents, blah, 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 blah. After one week, quit. Enjoying life. Aram say, what happened to your drama? So you think $2,000 is big money? It is not. You think $5,000 is big money? It is not. It's peanuts. Do you understand or not? In today's economy, it's not big money. They use it as an excuse. You push, they will sign up. Are you guys with me not? But signing up is not the decision. So when you logged on, put your mother's name, dog's name, cat's name, all right, and signed up, you think, done. I am now an IR of QNET. And then what did you do? You went outside the house. All of you. And you looked up in the sky. And you're waiting for the money to come. And after one week, you called your upline. Paisa, <laughs> nahi. That was not the decision. Signing up was not the decision. Signing up was not the biggest decision. The biggest decision is what you're going to make today with me. Because the decision is ultimately a promise to yourself. Now add one more thing, a promise to chief. Are you guys with me now? Yes! Because this decision you're going to make today is about you. That you want to do this. That you want to succeed. That you decide today that you are not here as a hobby. You're not here to try it. You're not here to back down just because somebody ask you a tough question. You are not here to give up just because you had 10 rejections, 20 rejections, 30 rejections. I don't know. I have got over 1,000 rejections and I'm still here. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Let the rejections come. I don't care. I love it. Right? This is my mantra. Because out of the 1,000 rejections, we found Sachin Gupta. All right? We found Sharvun.
You think David Wani was the first yes for his upline? No. His upline had 100 no's. And then David Wani said yes. But can you imagine if that moron gave up at number 99? We won't have David Wani. We won't have you sitting on this chair. So the reason why you are sitting here is because somebody before you did not give up. Because somebody before you made the decision, I will keep going no matter what happens. Are you guys with me? No. That's the only reason you're sitting here today. Do you understand? And I am sitting here today, or standing here today, and I am successful today because my two founders, the great ones, never gave up. They went through more shit than you, like guys. All right? They couldn't pay salaries. They couldn't pay rent in 1998 when we started. All right? Their only priority was to pay commission. Do you understand? They went through so many challenges that made it possible for us to be here today, sitting down at Freedom 2.0. All right? And you have a platform today that is going to take you inshallah to financial freedom are you guys with me but you got to make the decision without the decision nothing is going to happen you're going to go back to india to pakistan all right to whichever country you came from and you're going to be hit you land somebody's going to say something ah you went ah huh? freedom aja bolo you saw the play the play is true. You think what? Everyone in India is going to welcome you with open arms and say, come. We love you now because you went to freedom. My foot. You come back from freedom, they're going to hate you more. You know why? Because you went slightly confused. Now you're coming back. Clarity. Are you guys in me or not? You're going to come back like maniacs. Yes or no? You're going to go back and you're going to be a presentation machine, yes or no? Yes. And this whole week, you are going to sign up more people than you ever signed up before, yes or no? Yes. And that's going to piss people off. Do you understand? It's going to piss people off. Everyone who said no to you is going to be angry, bro. You understand or not? You are dancing on the street, somebody is waiting to throw a stone. It's human nature. Nobody likes you to be happy. Are you guys with me? Nobody wants you to be successful except your mother. Father is a 50-50, you know. Mother guaranteed. I bless you. You will be successful. Mothers only. Are you guys with me? Now? All right? And if your brothers are not in the business, they don't want you to be successful. I made it a rule that Sati and Kuna join me. Do you understand? Because I don't want to be rich alone. I want to be rich with my brothers. Are you guys with me or not? All right? That was my dream. I don't want to be the rich brother. All right? And go and visit my poor brothers during Diwali. Are you guys with me or not? I want the whole family to be freaking filthy rich. That was my dream. And that dream became a reality. Are you guys with me or not? And there is no secret. There is no secret. Hey guys, if I knew a secret, I would tell you. I'll go on CNN and tell them. I'll write a book. Alright? Max out secret. Please read. Implement. But there's no secret. As Dato Sri Vijay told me, Patman, stop looking for the answer. Every time I ask him, how are Dato, this one. Is that the answer? Is this the answer? Like you morons, you know, looking for the answer. Every speaker, where's the answer? Where's the answer? No, no, that's not the answer. Where's the answer? And you can see when you're writing notes, huh? when you think you found the answer, even your writing becomes passionate. Are you guys doing Oh, yes. Stop looking for the answer because you are the answer. Are you guys with me? Or not? Stop looking for the answer. You are the answer. Alright? You have it. Because if you believe in God, if you believe that you are His child, created by Him, and there are no mistakes in His plan, 
That means you are meant to sit on this chair and I'm meant to put my hand on your shoulder because he wants me to do it now. That's how I live. So there's no use going to the temple, dancing, breaking coconut, rolling, going to church, doing this, going to the mosque and praying. If you don't believe, I believe that your potential and mine are equal. That we are the same. Do you understand? I love Dato Sri Vijay. But my potential and his potential is the same. The only difference is he found the answer faster than me. And he's teaching me. And I'm teaching you. And the answer is you. Alright? The answer is you. You are the answer. That means the day you signed up, the day you signed up, you started a journey. And you are supposed to see me today. I could have died in my plane, bro. Do you believe this? There are people who die, no? Coming to an event. How many times you heard this story? Poor man died on the way to the wedding. I could have died on the way to Freedom 2.0. And you all put my photo there and clap. But I made it. That means you were meant to listen to me. So I'm not here to entertain you. Alright? I'm here to help you find the answer. And the first thing you have to recognize is you are the answer. So everything you dream about is possible. Everything you ever wanted is possible. And the only answer is you. And if you focus outside, you're wasting your time. You are the answer. And the first answer that you must find today is that you have not made that decision. That's why you are struggling. That's why you are frustrated. That's why you get irritated. I don't get irritated. Thousand rejections doesn't impact me. Two million negative media doesn't impact me because I am Patman Senati Raja. This is my life, my journey. Are you guys with me? Or not? All right? And I decide. You think people did not try to stop me? You think the million faced challenges? We did. So don't sit down there like you are the only one facing challenges. But if you are ready, no challenge can stop you. And the first thing you need to do is decide that this is what you want to do. That this is not a hobby. Forget QNET. Forget Manchester City. Forget Google, Facebook, whatever you think is going on in India. Doesn't matter. Do you want to succeed? Yes or no? Yes. Do you want to succeed? Yes or no? Yes. Do you want to succeed? Yes or no? That's the only thing that I want to talk about for the next 10 minutes. It's about you. I am not convinced you want to succeed. Because if you really, really decided to succeed, then nothing can stop you. Nothing should stop you. Nothing will distract you. I don't get distracted. Sharfun does not get distracted. Because we, we are not better than you. We have no better knowledge than you. We just decided... And this decision is the most important thing in this journey. Not knowledge. I'm sorry. I am a moron. I will admit it to anyone. But once I make a decision, I will die to maintain that decision. Do you understand? That's the difference between you and me. Are you guys with me? You know? That once I make a decision, even my own mother cannot stop me. The person I love and adore the most will not be able to stop me once I make a decision. That's what you haven't made. You think you made that decision because this journey is exciting, correct? Right? It's exciting. You get to get out of your normal lives. You get to come to Freedom 2.0, watch some amazing people on stage. But they are not staying with you. Charfun cannot succeed for you. You understand? Narendra cannot succeed for you. Manish cannot succeed for you. They can cry for you. They can give you knowledge. But they cannot succeed for you because your tracking center is yours. Your max out is yours. And you need to decide today. And once you make the decision, your real duty in network marketing is to protect that decision. Watch my Wednesday message. I spoke about this. To protect that decision to maintain that decision is your duty. That's my duty. My duty every day is to protect my decision 
that I made 21 years ago. And do you know why my decision cannot shake, cannot be weak? Because imagine if my arm, imagine if his arm is the decision. La. This is his decision, correct? You are making that decision today. Are you alone? Yes. He made that decision. Congratulations. Tomorrow, one downline is going to hang on. Make it strong. One downline is going to hang on his decision, you know. You don't hang on Sharfun, you know. Do you understand? You don't rely on Sharfun as a personality. You don't even know her. You don't know what she likes or doesn't like. You don't know whether at night she cries in the bed. Alright? You don't know whether she laughs like a maniac at 2 in the morning or howls like a wolf outside in a house in Dubai. Alright? You don't know whether she's married, unmarried, happy, unhappy. You don't know and you don't need to know. You only need to know one thing. Is her decision solid or not? Is her decision strong enough for Freedom 2.0 to rely on it? Yes or no? And that's the only thing that matters. So this is Sharfun's decision. Alright? And you are here. The 6,000 people resting on a decision. Relying on her decision. Not her personality. Not her words. Not how good she is on stage. I don't care. But you are relying on her decision. She's relying on Sachin's decision. Sachin is relying on Dave's decision. Dave is relying on my decision. Are you guys with me or not? And I am relying on Dato Sri Vijay's decision. Are you guys with me? And the only time, the only time we suffer is when our upline's decision is weak. So your job after you make the decision today is to keep it strong. That decision will change lives. That decision will help people climb to max out so you are down here, you know. Alright? And that is max out up there. And when you start climbing, you are putting your leg on somebody's decision. You are holding somebody's decision and climbing up. And if that decision is weak, you drop. If your decision is weak, you won't even start climbing. Are you guys with me or not? So you have to decide that this is what you want to do. That you're willing to pay the price no matter what. The decision must be strong. Your decision must be strong. And what fuels that decision? Your dream. Your relationships. Your obligation. Your responsibility. So I come up here today and look at your faces. It makes my decision stronger. That I don't need to sleep tonight. Because I think of you. I think of your dreams and I know that there's 6,000 people somewhere in India, somewhere in Pakistan who saw me on Freedom 2.0 who I don't know their name I don't know who they are but they are relying on my decision this week. Are you guys with me? Not? So I will not allow I will not allow any moron to weaken my decision. Alright? It can be anyone. It can be the newspaper, it can be the king, the queen, the prime minister. They cannot dictate my life. I don't give that power away to anyone, guys. This is my life, my journey. And you are dependent on my journey. So I don't screw around in my journey. I take it very seriously. So are you guys with me? Make that decision. Your decision to sign up was nothing. Your decision now is important. That you are going to be an entrepreneur. You are going to survive whatever rejection. You are not going to listen to the morons out there. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep doing presentation until it hurts. And then you keep doing it some more. One rejection cannot kill you, guys. One thousand rejections cannot kill you. 2,000 rejections must not kill you. Are you with me? Yes. It's your decision that matters. So I want you to stand up. Freedom 2.0. You've been sitting down too long. You see, Sharfun 
spoke to you spoke to you about your dream you found your dream and you know in your dream you saw your parents you know most of you and you know why you are standing here today educated all right knowledgeable and you did not die in your journey of life because your parents made a decision to be parents they never gave up on that decision they had no money to eat they still educated you and it was not that they are the best parents we can compare parents yours is better doesn't matter but my mother may not win the award as the greatest mother on the planet i don't care but i know my mother's decision was strong and that's why kuna sati and me are still here today because my mother's decision was strong she never allowed anyone to take it away now from today and you go back tomorrow you go back to india pakistan finland uae kuwait qatar vietnam myanmar wherever you came from sri lanka doesn't matter your decision is going to be tested all right and i'm telling you you cannot fail in network marketing you can only quit all right and the people who quit walk away not from qnet they walk away from their decision so they can still be there you know like zombies but decision gone they will never succeed are you guys with me or not that decision needs to be strong the decision needs to come from your heart dev adwani is still here today because of the decision he made i'm sorry all of you think he's smart i don't think he's smart i just think he's an amazing moron who has the strongest decision i have seen in many years ago so don't look at me and say wow chief one day i wish i can be like you don't be like me la i'm a mentally unstable individual you know atta maji sata kali ai guys you know please don't be like me be better than me be better than dato sri vijay all right and don't compete with us about knowledge and checks and all that that will come automatically the reason why i respect dato sri vijay unconditionally for 21 years i climb on his decision i climb only because of his decision because of his decision in 1998 are you guys with me or not we are in india today because of dato sri vijay's decision and the only reason they cannot stop us in india even though they are trying they are getting tired you understand they should invite me to speak to them i offered you are losing the battle you know why not because of strategy maybe they can put newspaper articles but the people attacking us their decision is very weak our decision to stay in india is very strong are you guys with me so today i want you to decide don't decide you want to do this don't decide i want to go back and do presentation these are all chota chota decisions make the bada decision that you will die for your dreams are you guys with me or not that you will never 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 give up no matter how painful this journey becomes are you with me so repeat after me i can i will i must now these three words write it in the mirror because it's a amplification of your decision that you can max out it's your god given right that i can be better than padman senati raja that i can do anything i believe in this is given by him it's your right don't give it away to your boss to your country to your politician to your corrupt police officers don't hang on to it that's why i say i can 
I can be anything I want. You can be anything you want, guys. I am telling you, I am nobody compared to you. I am a bloody idiot who just believed. Right? In one man called Dato Sri Vijay, unconditionally. I followed him like a lost puppy. You understand? Alright? And I had a dream that nobody can steal called Amma, my mother. She's not with us today, but she's always with me every single day of my journey. Are you guys with me? You know? So I want you to know that you can. You can be anything. You want to max out in six months? Yes, you can. Do you understand? You want to come up on stage next freedom and share your story? Yes, you can. It's written. It's written there, you morons haven't read that book. You are reading everyone else's book. You have stopped reading your own book. Your own book, it is written there. Max out king, max out queen. So you can. And you will. You will is the decision. You will is that decision you made today. That you will take the first step, not as an IR, as a warrior, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who's going to change the next level of generations. Your parampara is going to change. Do you understand that? That my whole parampara was poor. I loved them, but they were poor. I got jack shit when they died. My grandfather didn't leave anything to my mother. My mother didn't leave anything to me. But because of a decision I made, my next generation, my children are going to be born freaking US dollar millionaires. Are you guys with me? You know? Because of a decision. So I will is an affirmation of a decision that you will never back down of freedom 2.0. I will. And finally, I must. I must is where Sharfun is right now. That she has no choice. I told her a long time ago that don't come up on the stage and make promises unless you're willing to dedicate your life all right, to the people who depend on you like Freedom 2.0. But I believe when you reach I must, then you're doing the business from your heart because you're doing it for your downlines. You're fighting for their dreams. You always start selfish. And one day, inshallah, you'll be selfless. Alright? So after you buy all your Ferraris, and all your shoes, and all your $200 underwears, you come up on stage and help 6,000 people change their lives. Are you guys with me? You know? So repeat after me, I can. I will. I must. I can. I will. I must. Write it on your mirror. Because this is your mantra. Of I can, I will, I must. This is the decision that you have to make every single day. And the final thing I want to tell you before I leave. And remain standing. Is that you are going back. Wherever you are going back to. And you are going to face challenges. Yes or no? I promise you. I guarantee you two things in life. If you don't quit, you will max out. Right? And you will face challenges. And you will face great battles. And I am telling you, standing here today, stop talking about how big the battle is. It's stupidity. You are focused on the battle. What is the problem? Analyze it to death. After that, you revive it and analyze it again. It dies, revive, analyze again. The problem, the battle. But today, stop analyzing the battle. Stop talking about how big or how small the battle is. It's a waste of time. The battle will always be there. Big, small, round, fat, square. India, Pakistan, Malaysia, UAE, Africa, doesn't matter. So don't focus on the battle. Be prepared for it. So I always tell Sharfun, it's not the size of the battle that matters. It is the size of the warrior. 
the bigger the warrior, it can survive anything. Are you guys with me? You know? And freedom 2.0. Freedom 2.0. You're going to go back. You're going to max out. I can see it in your eyes. And I know this. I can sense it in my heart that this week you're going to go back and conquer India. Are you guys with me? You know? That's what I want you to do. But, but, listen to daddy. But, you're going to face battles. And when you face those battles, when you go back tomorrow, day after, and the battles will come in every shape and size, it can come in the shape of your mother-in-law, your best friend, your cousin, your country, your bureaucrats, the media, Google, doesn't matter. What the battle is, let it come. Invite it. Say, Aja. Do you understand not? And when you say, Aja, don't like this. Aja. Like in school, you know. Ah, ja, ah, ah. Don't do that. You are freedom 2.0. Yes or no? Yeah. You stand there. Proud. Strong. Look at whatever battle and say, Aja. Are you guys with me? You know? And your downlines who are not here, they are facing the same battle. But you know what they do before they fight? They check upline. If upline is not fighting, why they must fight? Are you guys with me or not? So the final decision today is when you go back, are you going to go back as a wimp? Or warrior? Wimp or warrior? Wimp or warrior? Listen, if I am a producer in a movie, I will never pick you as an actor also. Because you're like, warrior, warrior. Don't call them Aja. And then say, warrior. Are you with me or not? Don't say it from here. Say it from here. Because our enemies, our enemies, our enemies must not only hear it, they must feel it. Only then will they back away. Are you guys with me or not? So 6,000 people going back. Wimpo warrior. Wimpo warrior. So let me ask you a question. You go back. All your relatives sit down and shit on QNET. Are you going to be a Wimpo warrior? You go back and the media headlines QNET scam. Wimpo warrior. You go back and the first prospect you show the plan, he says no. Wimpo warrior. You go back, your strongest downline quits the business. Wimpo warrior. Remember this day. Remember this day where you made the biggest decision of your life that you're not going to back down. And don't allow any moron out there to stop us. And when you go back today, tomorrow, India must feel you. Your downlines must feel you. Your prospects will say yes just by looking at your eyes. Even before you start, they say, yes, I'm going to sign up. Are you guys with me? Iran? So one more time, when you go back, Wimpo Warrior! Wimpo Warrior! Wimpo Warrior! Wimpo Warrior! Wimpo Warrior! Wimpo Warrior! I love you guys.